Hi everybody. Today we are going to talk about BTS Walk and the application about the evaluation of plantar pressures and special temporal parameters during gait. What we are going to see is which are the plantar support parameters, the evaluation of force mean to uh, the, the weight of the person going on the platform in kilograms, and then we can evaluate which is the foot contact surface. Having these two measurements allows us to have an evaluation about the pressure distribution during contact. Having this evaluation allows us to have another parameter that can lead us to have a very complete evaluation of the plantar support, which are the foot contact phases. In this way, we are able to evaluate uh, the uh, different phase of contact of the feet on the ground. So if the contact is on the heel or on the internal external contact or the toe hop, evaluating it in a way of evaluating the pressure of each part of the foot during the contact. Then we have the special temporal gait parameters. So we know that we have parameters evaluating the timing during the, the, the walking. For example, we have the speed, the time of footstep, the gait cycle duration, the time of single and double contact on the floor. Then we have parameters related to the space evaluation, which are, for example, the step length, the step width, the stride length, and also the foot orientation, so which is the inclination of the foot when it contacts the floor. Knowing the spatial and temporal parameters during walking, we can evaluate which are the stance phase and the swing phase, also in terms of duration, so in terms of time, and in terms of uh, percentage of the whole gait cycle duration. What is BTSP Walk? BTSP Walk is the uh, solution to treat pathologies related to balance and gait disorders is a platform system that can be composed but one or more pressure platforms that can allow us to evaluate the plantar pressure, the force distribution during the ambulation. And also, as I just said, which are the most important gait special temporal parameters. In this way, we can have a very complete quantitative evaluation about which is the dynamic plantar support and uh, the detection of plantar overloads. BTS P-Walk is related to the BTS P-Studio software, which is a, a complete software that can evaluate the plantar pressure and the special temporal uh, gate parameters and uh, includes the, the normative data for all the required parameters. And, uh, the uh, connection between BTSP Studio and BTSP Walk can make this analysis very quick and we can have a very easy to understand report. So at the end, why we decide to use BTSP Walk? BTSP Walk analysis, as I said, includes the comparison with the normative data so we can have a very immediate visual result that can um, underline which are the difference between the subject we are evaluating and all the normative range. Then we have a very quick analysis because we don't have any preparation of the subject. To the, together with the automatic report given by the BTSP Studio, we can use this system, this device, in a very wide range of applications. So we can see it, for example, in prevention, in diagnosis, in a follow-up or treatment of uh, rehabilitation, also pharmacological one. Now we are going to do a practical session. I want just to explain to you which are the, the phases of the acquisition. First of all, we have to, um, to ask the, the, the subject to, to stay away from the platform, and when the subject is ready, we can ask him to start. Then the subject is going to walk across, so over, the, the platform we are using. In this case, we are going to use a single platform. Actually, it is possible to make an acquisition also 
with more platforms. Each time the platform is going to detect one step, uh, is going to uh, automatically record the, the data. And when the software is ready to record a new step, it's going to say to us with a screen, OK, go over the platform once again and let's execute a new step. When the acquisition is stopped, and I'm going to decide when to stop the acquisition, the report is going to appear automatically. Now I'm going to show you uh, the complete uh, um, process of acquisition and the patient has to do during this particular exam with, with one platform. So as you can see, here we have our patient we have just selected. We click on New Dynamic Analysis Platform. Clicking on it, the software automatically is going to detect the, the platform. First of all, I'm going to show you which is the, the platform and the, which is the, the movement of the person going through the acquisition. So the subject is going to be asked to walk over the platform. And walking over the platform, the software automatically is going to detect the position of the foot, the plantar pressure, the force during the, the walk. Now I'm going to show you which is the visualization on the software, as I told you, during the going across the platform. Right now, the software is going to say execute step and going to detect all the data about the acquisition. When we decide to handle the acquisition, we just have to click on Save on the top of the screen. And automatically, the software is going to show a new window when you can see all the foot that it detects, control that it detects the right position. And when we are sure that, the, that they detect the correct uh, position of the foot on the platform, we just have to save and show the analysis directly. This is the first screen you are going to see when you save and display the analysis. As you can see, on both sides of the screen, there are different footprints. Automatically, the software detects in all the uh, footprints that we uh, analyze, which are the characteristic footstep, so which is the most uh, repetitively uh, footprints that it, it detects. And then of all these footprints, it shows which is the maximum pressure for both of them, so on the left side and on the right side. The first footprint is the maximum pressure. The second is the average, so which is the distribution of the maximum and the average pressure. On the where part of the screen, we can see always in color which is the distribution of time of contact. So which part of the foot is going? It has been in contact with the with the platform for more time, and then we have an evaluation that can integrate the pressure during time. So this is the first screen that you are going to see when you when you click save and display. Actually, you come you can go over all these different sections. There are eight sections for this particular report. If we go on show characteristic footstep identification, what we are going to see is another visualization, of course, of the, of the same acquisition, where we can see the detection always of the most important foot, footprint, so which is the characteristic footprint, connected to the evaluation of the force as we were talking about uh, before. So we are going to evaluate which is the range of force uh, meant, of course, in kilograms. And so here 
if we switch over the different footprints right and left we are going to see underlined the the curve connected to the footprints we are evaluating if we're not if we're not going to touch anything with the the curve underlined is going to be the one of the characteristic footstep about that uh, we can um, we can see also the usual um, overload of the foot and uh, we can see if all this, the footsteps are more or less in the range of, uh, of the characteristic uh, one. We can see also in the table which are the maximum um, force, the minimum one and the uh, surface of contact during the, the footsteps.